Welcome back, all you fabricant and flashbacks to the super, not funny show, reviews. And today we're reviewing the season two premiere of Abbott Elementary. Yes, Abbott Elementary is back. And the first episode is entitled Development Day. So, was it good? Was it bad? And should you be watching? Oh, God. man, the gang's back, y'all. <laughs> uh, after a summer uh, missing school, uh, you know, like a kid that's been out for a few months, we're coming back uh, to class with the good old crew at Abbott Elementary. Coming off of a pretty successful uh, Emmy season, uh, in which uh, the show uh, got Best Supporting Actress for Cheryl Lee Ralph. And uh, it also got, uh, I believe, uh, Best uh, Comedy Writing or something like that. But uh, it's doing great. And so we're back, and I'm so happy uh, because Janine and the crew uh, have been sorely missed. So uh, what I think about the episode, Development Day was, it was fun. I have to be honest, though, the first half of the episode, I was just like, oh, this is a bit... It's a bit slow. It's a bit, a bit of a, a bit of a letdown. I'm expecting hilarity from the beginning, but I forget to let this show build itself up to it. And in that sense, I mean setting the, you know, setting the stage. At the end of last uh, season, you know, Janine had broken up with her boyfriend from like middle school, and you know, she sort of got an eye on uh, Gregory, and you know, uh, you know. They, all, they had all gone on this field trip and everything. There's just all these things that happened over the course of the previous season that sort of changed the relationships of everyone. I, and I, in my opinion, brought everyone together. And so I was wondering, how is this going to be? You know, you know, um, you had uh, uh, Jacob had gone, you know, had gone to Peru. And, you know, uh, Janine, she's sort of dealing with her breakup. And uh, we don't really know what else everyone else is doing. But, you know, of course... Principal Ava, she's still just doing the most, and she's just, you know, the messiest. So, of course, she had to, you know, rent out the, the parking lot so that because, you know, it's Philly, the Eagles could have a, a place to, uh, the Phillies fan could have a place to tailgate. Just on the same day that, um, they, you know, that they're having to start a development week. <clears throat> at this, and there's, you know, everyone's like, oh, they're all optimistic. They're ready. They got, you know, great things to do. They're sort of, it's like a conference of sorts for, for the, the teachers there. And it's nice to see Janine just be like super confident. She's really grown, you know, growing into being the teacher she is. Um, but ultimately, what you want to know is like, wait, where's the funny in this episode? And it's it's to be had like toward the back half. The fact that they got you know, Gritty to come in. Uh, Gritty, like, if, I'm not from Philly, but, you know, it's a mascot for the, the Philadelphia Flyers. That was fun stuff. But, like, also seeing the way people react to the fact that uh, that Gregory doesn't like this. You know, you would think he murdered someone, the way they reacted to that. Uh, and that's, you know, it must be a Philly thing, you know, uh, that I'm not aware of. But it was quite funny, and I understand it. Um. I really also like the fact that, you know, this is a comedy. You're supposed to laugh, but there's a, you know, there's a lot of heart in this. And, and one of the part, part of that is because all of the teachers have sort of grown, a, you know, closer over all of their struggles from the previous year. There's a lot more respect from, you know, the older teachers, Melissa and, and Barbara for Janine. As, as, you know, she they think she does, you know, does the most too. But they also kind of respect why and, you know, her love for teaching and everything. Uh, you know, again, Ava being herself, she's just been so she kind of was in the background on this one. This was really more about Janine, you know, sort of faking it till she makes it about her breakup and how she's having difficulty with money and everything like that. But also about, you know, you got Jacob in there, you know, trying to let everyone know that he was, you know, he learned ASL spe specifically, you know, to help, you know, the deaf child that's going to be in his class. Um, you got Gre you know, Gregory wanting to do the best he can and just like overthinking everything because that's just his, his personality. And Cheryl Lee Ralph showing why she's got the Emmy. She's just the voice of reason and, and experience and wisdom. And, but also she still, she still has that little snappy, you know, these little snappy comments that are, that are great. And of course, you know, Melissa, she's always hilarious. Like I, I think, 
for all of her kind of like you know earth you know only call it earthy humor like she's she's got a real like you know kind of gritty nest to her and and she's you know real funny and everything real sarcastic but her desire to to just like do the best she can by her kids the fact that she's got to take on more kids you know 10 more kids than she was expecting and that you know as barbara said you know they they ask us to do these things every year and what we're not just going to give it up just because they're asking us the impossible that attitude and the fact that it every one of the teachers there in, in abbott elementary really exemplifies that that they make the most of the situation that gregory solves you know you know uh, barbara's problem of of the desk by getting you know going getting one that they had in storage and you know the way that all of their you know their care really kind of shows in the way that the, those kids are you know those kids are in good hands of people who care about them and i think that that's ultimately the most beautiful thing about this show is that it's hilarious this workplace drama it's hilarious but also you know underneath all of that are a group of people that care about the kids and care about each other and they display that in the way they you know interact with each other and the way they you know they go about they know that ultimately they all are pulling in the same direction even Ava, yes, even her messy self is is doing that. Now I really love it. I'm so happy to see this show back. So happy that it's like these friends of ours that we've learned about in the previous season, they are back to do uh, all they can to educate those kids at Abbott Elementary. Absolutely love it. So anyway, what'd you guys think about this premiere episode? And what'd you think about what I had to say? Get down to the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Of course, you can always hit me up. Super not funny show at gmail.com or at super not funny s1 on Twitter. And uh, do me a favor, get down there, hit that like button. It helps with the algorithm. And hit that uh, subscribe button and the notification bell. All right, all you Fabric in the Flesh Bags, thanks for joining me. Come back next week. We're going to review the second episode of Abbott Elementary. Until then, I've been Mo Lee Poupe, your resident Fabric and Comic Extraordinaire on all things pop culture. We'll see you guys on the other side of the thread. Peace. Thank you.